Thank you. Thank you, and good afternoon, everybody. So my story begins with the stuff of nightmare. And I know for several of you, emails are just a nightmare because of the amount you get like every single day, every single hour, every single minute. You know? So it's fall 2018, last semester, I'm my yeah, first semester in grad school. Grad school, that period of, of time when you feel that you're going to be perpetually behind in life because of this ton of assignments that you have every single day that I do like the day before yesterday, not even in two days. And you have like sometimes a lot of research going on and you have like, I don't know, so many things permanently. And of course, a lot of emails to check in every single day. So that's me sitting in my, in my desk in Chase Hall over in East Campus, like checking my, my emails as a regular day. But that day one email was different. I get this email from my office mate, Mara, uh, which was, like I said, a little different from other emails. So I open that email and what I see is something like this. Morning all, all looking forward to fun manure times tomorrow and I'm just like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Am I looking for fun manure times tomorrow? Oh Mara, you're, you're hilarious, you know? What Mara was actually trying to do was to convince a group of us in that persuasive tone to do some field work the following day. And I'm sure that emails might be a nightmare for you because of the, the amount you get every day, uh, the diversity of them, but uh, I'm almost 100% almost sure that this is way different from whatever you got before. So, but then my advisor, Dr. Dr. Amy Schmidt, comes, comes into this casual conversation saying, thanks for the update, Mara. <laughs> talking about the, this trip that we were about scheduling, and I, you could already feel the excitement crossing the screen of the computer. And she follows up saying, and of course, I'm excited for tomorrow because manure is always fun. And I'm at this point, like, I'm just like petrified in front of the screen, like just, I'm beginning to think that I'm working with crazy people. <laughs> why are they talking about, why do they say that manure is so much fun? How can they be so passionate about manure? And you know, I'm from Argentina, and I came to UNL to get my master's and to learn uh, how to help farmers to, to farm in a more uh, sustainable, environmentally sustainable way. And, and I know that implies like recycling a lot of waste products, but from that to building a romantic relationship with manure, there's like a big gap, you know? <laughs> but oh well, I just get ready for the worst a fun manure times the following day. So uh, I get ready for the following day. Uh, the next day comes and I wear my newly acquired Nebraska uniform. And when I say Nebra uh, Nebraska uniform, what does it come to your mind? What do you think about it? Is it something like this? <laughs> well, I'm talking about the real Nebraska uniform. <laughs> so that, that's, what it, uh, that's what I did, what I wore. And we head out, headed out to the field. We get there, and this research plus we have uh, in a place close to Lincoln. And before I can even like understand what we have to do, I realize that I'm up to my neck in this huge, smelly, freshy pile of manure. <laughs> and you know, but I could overcome that, and we had some fun times. I did my first snow angel ever. In the place where I'm from in Argentina, we don't get snow, so it was so exciting. And we also did, so had some other not as fun moments, and you can see myself here like fighting against the deer to trying to pull out the soil sample. But you know, I still had in my mind this question from the previous day, like, why were they talking about this with this weird vocabulary? Why do they think that manure is so much fun, you know? Why do they have this passionate relationship? I couldn't understand that, so I just decided to bring that topic to the table, you know, I will ask them, and that's what I did. I just, I just asked the question, like, why do you guys feel that manure is so, so much fun, you know? And an awkward silence follow. <laughs> and for a second I thought that I was kind of signing my way back to Argentina, <laughs> challenging that. But afterwards, like, we got in this, into this like, long conversation about manure, because manure can also support long conversations, by the way. <laughs> and, 
And we talked about a lot of aspects related with this little underappreciated resource. And when I say underappreciated, what I mean is that sometimes I don't know why we don't give the same exact value to thing, things that have the same origin. And when I say the same, when I say the same origin, I mean the same origin. <laughs> you know? It's almost the same origin, isn't it? But I can understand that. I can understand we don't give me the same value of manure, you know? But uh, so, and we get to, the, to this point, we keep going with the conversation, and I, I keep wondering, which, what's this hidden value that I cannot see? Anmar is the first one uh, speaking up, and she said, well, the perf that hidden value is like the amount we have in the States. And I could kind of see that, because as you might proudly displace this in your car, Nebraska is considered the beef state, which means like a lot of really good meat and steaks, but that also means a lot of manure. Isn't it true? Such an amount that could be enough to cover the whole surface area of East Campus with a 150 tall, foot tall layer. Isn't it a lot? And if manure is actually fun, that's a lot of stuff you can have fun with. <laughs> Isn't it a lot? But the conversation keeps going, and we keep taking the soil samples and the square plots for her research project. And they started going into this, all these concepts that they learned in the, this manure management class that I was just about starting to take, because you can take manure, uh, classes about manure too. Really recommend it if you're interested. And they made like a, some points that I try to summarize for you today. So they first, the first thing they said was, well, manure is like the wonder drug of soil health. And you know, I didn't want to acknowledge anything that day, but I had to acknowledge that because throughout the semester in that class I could understand because like, whenever you spread manure in an agricultural field, you are providing that field with a lot of carbon because manure has a lot of carbon, the element, you know? And microbes in the soil and the earthworms love that carbon. So whenever you spread manure in a field, you are enhancing biological activity, which which is really beneficial for crops, you know? And then the second point they made was that, well, whenever you're doing that, you're spreading manure in the field, you're providing a lot of nitrogen and phosphorus, which you can use to replace whatever inorganic fertilizer you're using to fertilize those crops. And that's a really good point. Personally, I think that's the most important one. And then they said, well, uh, when you're applying manure, you can also reduce pollution, but why is that? Well, because like when you apply manure, you're applying all that carbon, and so you can increase soil organic matter content, which is this magic glue in the soil that uh, let all the soil particles stick together. And then whenever I apply manure, I increase the soil organic matter content, so my, so my soil is stronger and healthier, and less particles and less nutrients will run off the field, generating all this contamination. So I was kind of seeing that. I, they, they were kind of convincing me. Oh, and they said that with manure you can also make grape pies. <laughs> and I promise this, we use this open just for research. We don't make any pastries there. <laughs> and, and you know, we get to the end of the day that day, and I have to acknowledge eventually that they could convince me. They could convince me. And about all this superpowers in just one single product. And they did such a great job that after some time, I ended up getting this manure-shaped manure sleepers <laughs> that are extremely comfortable, by the way. You should get it. <laughs> Thank you. You should get it. You should get it. So I think at, at this point of my presentation, I've listened to many of you laughing a little bit, at least. And I hope that laughing is because you understand about, now you understand about all those superpowers in just one single product, and all those misconceptions, or at least some of them, about this fresh, natural, brownish, <laughs> smelly product, are, at least some of them are gone today. And I hope that laughing is because you understand how much fun it can be to wear cars for the first time in your life, or to wear manure sleepers as well. And I hope that laughing is also because you understand how much fun it is to do a snow and angel for the first time. And I'm sure you all know that. If you are from Nebraska, Sam, we're here. It was like so exciting for me. 
But more, most important than, than all those things, I hope that laughing is because you understand how much fun it can be to look at somebody taking samples from a big manure pile. <laughs> that's, that's so much fun. Basically, I really hope that after my presentation today, you know that manure is so, so cool. Wear glasses, and like my advisor said in that email, and she was extremely right, it's always fun. Thank you.